Hello and welcome again to Stocks Advisor channel. Here at our channel, we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for US based stocks. Today, we will talk again about Tesla. Well, very famous company, of course, it's showing incredible growth and with uh, recent news about its acquisition of uh, Bitcoins and all this, uh, let's say, media. Uh, fuzz that is going around that, that company, uh, it's really uh, socially accepted and really loved by people. Therefore, you see uh, investors are entering, the price is going high. But now uh, we could see actually that for the uh, last uh, couple of weeks, we see this decline here and moving averages 20 and 50 are starting to decelerate. So it looks like we're going for a major correction. So to understand how to play here, let's do a quick analysis for Tesla. So uh, if we would magnify this uh, chart, what do we see here? Uh, as always, uh, we have three moving averages here depicted these three colorful lines, uh, moving average 20, 50 and 200. Here as always at the left, you see their legends. So if you look at those, first of all, uh, what is important to see? Of course, this is a company with enormous market capitalization. And um, therefore, for company of this size, usually, let's say, uh, 687 billions, uh, you cannot really kill it with any major news. I mean, it should be really something big, but we don't have it, of course. So here it's purely technical situation. And first of all, what is important to note is the volume. If you look at the volume being traded here on the bottom right, you see there is no significant increase in volume even on the decline of the price. So no one is actually really massively exiting or entering into the stock. Uh, it means it's just a uh, kind of a technical situation taking place. You don't see any major decline here in volumes or the increase, which would mean that massively actually people are entering or leaving. So here, most of all, uh, what you see is a, is a healthy uh, pullback, healthy correction. This is good news. Why? Because if you are just about to enter, if you are more like a daily trader and you are looking for interesting opportunity to enter, to catch the wave, that's the right time to be preparing yourself to enter to uh, Tesla. And now we will talk about this, how to do it. So first of all, what is important? We did break the moving average 50, the blue line here, and moving average 20, the green line is really decelerating. So it's going downwards. It's clearly seen here, it's going downwards. And uh, it looks like it wants to form a magic cross down. Uh, last time we saw similar situation, although the angle of the magic cross down was so small, so you couldn't even call it a magic cross. It was just touch of two moving averages and then a second acceleration wave started. This was in November, you can see it here. And uh, when this was happening, what we saw, the price later on indeed made the second wave, a huge wave, and we see this after November uh, increase. Now the deceleration angle is really fast and it could mean that we are going really for major correction because also uh, this is the first time we really pierced moving average 50 for the last almost at least half a year. If you look at the old charts here, except this, uh, let's say, um, pseudo magic cross down, this was never taking place. And now we pierced it really deep and the deceleration speed is really fast for uh, moving average 20. And you see that moving average 50 is already bending and moving average 200 is slightly bending. Also, we don't need to forget another uh, thing is that there is a big distance all the time during at least the last half a year between moving average uh, 200 and uh, other two, 20 and 50. So it was almost like a parallel uh, move. And of course, this gap also creates additional pressure to, to suck in the price and uh, to call for further corrections. So with this being said, how to trade here? Of course, Tesla is still very positive. And also, we don't need to forget that it's not just Tesla we are talking about, because uh, when speaking of companies of Elon Musk, it's not only one company, it's actually all portfolio together because psychologically people uh, assess it as entire portfolio. It's of course other companies maybe not yet went for IPO like SpaceX, it's Tesla, it's all other companies, it's Elon Musk itself and uh, his charisma as well. So it's really entire, entire situation you need to take into account. So 
uh, nothing really could kill one company here. It's really a correction. And I keep saying this because sometimes people think, well, uh, it's, it's the end, it's a bubble, but well, uh, it's not, it's just a correction and we just need to be prepared. So with this being said, how to play here? Let's quickly look. As you always do, uh, you play at any correction is just, you are prepared to enter at uh, nearest support levels and then you just enter with average down approach. So let's see the levels here you can play. Of course, uh, what we might still have, that correction could immediately repulse because we are sitting now at this, uh, let's say, support line, which is around uh, 700. And if you look, uh, we even slightly rebounds from there. So we might still tomorrow show a secondary uh, so immediate re recovery, so show a white uh, candle, then it will be red-white, and then we go higher. Uh, if this is happening, some kind of engulfing happening, we are recovering. So therefore, we need to be prepared, and it would be advised to have an immediate action, actually, because uh, immediately enter, and let's uh, write the first channel, let's say the, the, the fast call, the quick call to play. Mm, this would be channels S1, S2. This is hoping that this is a not really a major correction, but just a quick. And uh, with this being said, it's immediately buying at the current price and then anything lower than S1 all the way till S2. So if we would write it here, let's write that this would, would be done between uh, 650 and the current price, which is 716. And it's already buy. So anything go lower, you can slowly buy in, the, in this channel. So this is the first channel to enter. And then again, if it's a red-white combination of candles, um, then we of course recover will be kind of engulfing situation. If we go further, if it's really a major correction, if really the dif difference between moving average 250, that one we draw here with the, these green arrows, is creating a huge pressure sucking in the price, then, of course, we go lower and then we need to be prepared. Then the major correction really confirmed. So it's not a pullback anymore. It's a correction. And then we really need to be prepared for some serious action here. So uh, if this is going to happen, of course, these are the levels to wait for. And then you need to be really patient because, again, as I said, Tesla, of course, is really loved by pop population, by people. It's really like uh, it's not only Tesla itself, as I said, but if something goes down, it also could go really fast here so we need to be prepared we know tesla could be also very volatile so this would be another level to enter s3 s4 uh, and by that time also why i like this one moving average 200 would be lower on the bottom of this one so it will create double support and this pressure that uh created by difference of the of the price between moving average 200 and 50 20 again drawn here with these blue uh, green uh, arrows will be compensated and once this is happening we know that at least the major technical part of the correction is ended and then whatever happens further could be either really bad news or further manipulation of some big let's say hedge funds or any big traders if but you need to be really huge to manipulate with tesla actually so what would be the level here if we go if really major correction is confirmed this would be between 200 and something like 560 here you can enter again and if this is really true if this is the case and we restart it will show enormous opportunity to take a profit because uh overall tesla with this with this volatility can provide you really very profitable trade uh but again at our channel we always say we take we advise at least that's what we do we advise we give opinion on profit taking and this is 10 to 15 percent so it's 10 on slowly moving charts and uh, 15 to fastly moving charts then you either re-enter or just seek for other opportunity we post many videos daily so you can always find something where you can uh, make your profit so with this being said again uh, that's what we advise of course for tesla if you like you might wait a little bit longer but we need to be prepared so what would happen if we go uh, lower if we go lower this should be really with some negative news coming and uh, again, could be a combination of news. Then, of course, we need to be prepared for piercing moving average 200. This is a very rare case for these companies. Uh, the company is showing so-called 2050-200 patterns. So these are companies of which SMA is aligned like this. And until this is the case, so whilst its SMA is aligned like this, if you're a long and mid-term trader, you can just sit in it 
And once uh, this pattern is starting to break, you need to think or reconsider your portfolio or temporarily exit to re enter the lower levels. So this also could be happening now for uh, Tesla because you see once magic cross is happening, this pattern will be broken. So should we go lower, then we will need to be prepared to trade at the previous three angle uh, that we saw here. So it's this famous three angle where actually we started from in November. And if this is happening, then uh, we just wait for it. We wait for pinpoint of it. And then it would be about, let's say, uh, 425 in the middle. And the, the level of trade would be somewhere here. So it will be, let's say, between uh, 350, roughly speaking, uh, and actually as, as a very bottom, but even lower it might be. So there would be another two levels to play. And pinpointing of the of the of the flag is for uh, 25 so here it will be rather big channel uh, and we will sp split it in two here because that's the, lo the most logical way to trade so one uh, level would be uh, 425 till let's say 375 and then I would split it again to have this last support level why we give it here four usually it's not the case we do it at our channel but uh, the reason is that Tesla is going, there is one parameter that actually uh, is worrying people apart all this positiveness. It's the fact that its market capitalization is much higher than its uh, turnover. And usually it means that you, your flow of money, actually the, the amount you, of your sales is uh, incomparable with uh, your capitalization. And this could cause some troubles for long term. And if this is going to happen, if this, this is, let's say, brought up as a subject for discussion, this could cause further correction. Therefore, for Tesla, we provide four levels uh, because we want to be really, really safe here and also know the huge volatility. So then it will be 425, the third level uh, as a top and 375 as a bottom for this one. And then the last one will be, uh, which, which we can be prepared for, is actually between something 285 and um, 325. So this would be the last. And again, uh, it's not that we predict the price goes there. Uh, this is very important to understand because often uh, you can see in the comments people saying like, why do we predict the price will go that low? That's not the prediction. It's actually part of our uh, so-called mixed analysis where we use three pillars or three approaches in one. One is actually technical analysis. Second one is using average down approach, actually non-linear average down approach based on support resist levels. And the third one is uh, risk mitigation based on possible negative outcome or positive negative catalyst coming for the company. Because if you take into account all these three, the only thing left for you is a profit and then you can take your profit. So that's the strategy we take at the channel. Therefore, we need to be prepared for any possible outcome. And that's why we advise to have four portions here to play. And now speaking of how to enter, because we have here such a big, let's say, average down opportunities and preparations, still it's very positive. So uh, keeping this one as a trading card, if you like numerical representations, and if you are more for, let's say, graphical one, you can just make a screenshot of this one and use it. Then you go here for the right side as anti-opportunities and then rebounds. Well, um, here it would be advised to play with uh, six portions, meaning that you buy with one, one, two, two strategy. And uh, speaking more, uh, speaking more, let's say, in details about it, it means that the money you would like to play here, and this is very important because this is really the key for the making profit and not making loss, actually. Uh, it's you split your, uh, you, it's, well, to our opinion, you can split your uh, funds in six portions, then you can buy with one portion in the first circle. If needed, if we go lower, so uh, we confirm the correction, then you buy again with one portion in uh, S3, S4. If you go to lower level, then you can buy with two portions average down. And again, if really negativity comes and all market collapse for Tesla, then you can buy again for two portions for final average down. With this, it should be the best optimization for profit versus loss and actually 
the chance to get uh, losses for Tesla would be really minimized according to let's say our best opinion we can give here the channel for Tesla so that's all for Tesla at the moment of course the stock attracts a lot of attention so we need to be prepared for volatilities in either way but uh, also opens very interesting opportunities for us so good luck with it and also please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're first time watching this video you can also find us at various social medias like our facebook instagram also you can check our free mobile application stocks advisor though for this week uh, we are uh, doing some maintenance for it so uh, it might be not working completely uh, as it's desired so apologize for this i uh, should be soon working as um, expected so with this being said let's stay connected good luck with tesla and see you at another episode of stocks advisor channel